Hello my beautiful and amazing people, badass Dark Zone agents, I'm Cool Butcher in the building as usual covering Division 2 basically daily, if you're new here, hey, welcome to the family, and with no wasting your time at all because it's precious, let's just jump straight into it. First of all, you can check right now targeted loot map, if you need something you can see where you can get your wanted item and I would recommend you to farm DZ today for Murikami knee pads. And I, I really recommend you to find ones with armor again, a second attribute or maybe crit damage or for hybrid setup skill damage. And let's oh, check what items we received with Mando Reset because it's Taco Tuesday. And guys, we have actually a couple must buys and first of them is at our clan vendor and it's police and four assault rifle with in sync talent already on that bad boy is one of the best assault rifles in the game because it has really nice RPM accuracy and handling on top of that you can basically apply all weapon attachments on that gun in terms of this Gilgard mask you can pick it up put in the stash and it will collect dust for you pretty nicely but police m4 is really nice and it has headshot damage on oh, headshot damage is not a terrible attribute guys you can pair it up with armor again play with unbreakable and adrenaline rush in dz and you can pair it up with shield Simply maximize weapon damage and you will have really nice assault rifle or reroll headshot damage for damage out of cover. This SVD also is really nice, Ranger works really well with rifle, on top of that you have correct attributes. You can switch talent, leave talent, it depends on your preference. Again, this goal and chest piece with Intimidate is kind of hybrid. But again, maybe if you into that, like I am, I will definitely buy okay. that chess piece. Again, at our DZ vendors, we have Murikami knee pads with armor You can simply roll her armor core attribute. You have already headshot damage and you can pair this up with police and four assault rifle with insane. So pretty nice synergy here, but like I said, I would recommend you to farm, of course, DZ to find armor again on these bad boys or skill damage or crit damage for DPS setups if you like to use for example Lady Dead in DC. Next piece we have Sokolov's firm handshake name and gloves. These are kinda really mediocre, I mean if you don't have it you can pick it up but um, to me low rolls across the board. Fall is decent with strain it. Strained will work with Fall because it has really low fire rate. Strained is bad talent with high fire rate weapons like Vector with 1200 RPM. Strained will not work for you really well, but with Fall, it's nice option. And then this vendor, uh, nothing to show you. <laughs> Trash. And if we will gonna back to that assault rifle, you can definitely. Fill out your library with those attributes with headshot damage and again, it depends on your preference but I would recommend you to stick or even buy two assault rifles. One to leave it with headshot damage and simply optimize the base weapon damage or re-roll that uh, third attribute for damage out of cover. Simply optimize core attribute and you will have god tier assault rifle which will work with all attachments in the game, almost all I think. In terms of these vendors, as usual, we are going to the best ones, to the worst ones. Carnage uh, is kind of useless. Um, yeah, I think you, you can see everything by your own two eyes. And thank you, Division 2 Delta, as usual. Typical day in office. Butcher is dropping the mic. Stay safe. Love you all. And see you in the next one. Bye.